Hello everybody, I'm Captain Chef Kyle Giroux from Shore Thing Charters in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi on the beautiful Mississippi Gulf Coast. Today I'm going to show y'all how to cook a little something that you can use a uh, hundred different ways and it's really simple and if you love crab meat you're really going to love this. Uh, we're going to start out, I like to add this, this is what I call a stretcher. It's, it's a great seasoning and if you got a lot of people to feed and you want to make your crab meat go a little bit farther, if you add this to it, 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 it'll stretch your crab meat and you won't even hardly notice. Plus, it gives it extra, extra flavor. It's regular stovetop stuffing, savory herbs. Uh, you're going to cook this just like it says on the package. You want to use a cup and a half of hot water. You're going to add it to your bowl. I cook mine in the microwave because it's quicker. You can't do the stovetop on top of the stove if you want and you add all of your seasoning mix and pack it into the bowl we'll need another spoon here we're also going to take about a quarter cup of butter and add to that. We're gonna stir that, kind of mix the water and everything in good with the with the seasoning and the butter. Then you're gonna take and put a cover on it and we're going to stick it in the microwave for about six minutes on high. All right, our stuffing mix has been cooking for six minutes in the microwave. We're fixing to pull it out. Very careful, very hot. The steam will get you. Take off the lid, put you a little bit of water in there, and you'll just want to fluff it up a little bit with the fork. Get everything mixed real good right there. Looks good, looks good. And we're going to let it Put the lid back on it and just let it rest while we get everything else ready. Kind of vent it a little bit, let some of the heat escape so it quits cooking. All right, we are going to now get ready to get into some crab meat. I'm gonna crank the fire up. Good medium to high flame. We're going to put some light butter. I mean, you can use whatever you want, regular butter, margarine. We're going to put right at a cup of butter in the pan. Get all of that out of here. We're going to get that melted down, let it start cooking a little bit. I'm going to be using about two pounds of crab meat. I have uh, one pound of white lump crab meat and I have one pound of strictly claw meat. And the claw meat's a little bit firmer. It's a little bit cheaper, so it'll stretch your crab meat a little bit farther, too. Just about got the butter ready to go. First thing we're going to add is our seasoning, and this is the Holy Trinity of down the bayou, uh, celery, 
chopped celery, chopped onion, and chopped bell pepper. And we're going to take that, that's about two cups, we're going to take that and put that in the pan with the butter. And we're going to saute that down a little bit. At this time, I'm gonna put. I, I I season things as I go, and you know, however you you do it is how you do it. I use. I love Tony's. This is one of my mainstay ingredients as far as seasoning. I'm gonna say I'm gonna put about maybe two tablespoons. Another one of my favorites is Old Bay Spice seasoning. It's also it's good on everything. Really good on seafood. About another two tablespoons. I'm also going to add a little roasted garlic and herb spice. And you do this to your taste, whatever you like, more or less, whatever. And I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic powder. Now we're going to mix all that up, stir all that, let all that good stuff simmer down a little bit. And you're going to let this cook down six or eight minutes. All right, we've been simmering our seasoning for about six to eight minutes on medium. Everything's good and soft, looking good. So now we fix and start adding our crab meat. Get all that down there. That's the lump. Now we're gonna put the claw meat. Put all that in the pan. Kind of mix all of that up real good with our seasoning. Turn the heat back up just a little bit. We're going to make crab meat po' boys out of this today is what we're going to do with this. But you can use this for stuffing fish. I mean, uh, it's a great stuffing for flounder, whole stuff flounder. Uh, you can put it over, you know, redfish on the grill or panade speckled trout fillets. I mean, there's just a hundred different ways that you can use this one dish right here. You can also, if you want to make a cream sauce, you can add anywhere from, depending on how much you have, uh, heavy whipping cream and cook it down a little bit more and you'll have a beautiful uh, cream sauce. All right, we let that cook. We're going to add our stuffing now. All that out of there. We're going to mix that in with the seasoning and the crab meat. Get it all turned over real good. Well, 
like I said, the stuffing will make it go a little bit farther and it really, really adds uh, some more flavor to everything with the seasoned herb mix. And I'm going to add just a little bit more Tony's. That's Tony Satchery. Tony Satchery's Creole seasoning. Yes, sir. Original recipe. And a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. Mix all that up a little bit more. Kyle, you can make this into uh, cakes and fry it and make crab cakes. Yes, you can. The only thing you'd have to do that I suggest you do would be when you got your mixture down, would be maybe use two raw eggs to help hold, hold the mixture together to make your patties. And that's for what? For your crab cakes. Okay. That will help hold all of this together. But it makes a great, a great stuffing for flounder. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't get any better. All right, we got all our crab meat ready to go. Got the fire turned off. Everything's in it. This is two pounds of crab meat, claw meat, and whole white. And I'm going to say uh, six inch po' boy. We're going to make po' boys a day. Six inch po' boys, I'm probably going to get, I could get eight po' boys out of this two pounds of crab meat. Uh, you probably can get, I'm going to say, maybe a dozen to 15 crab cakes and probably could stuff five to six nice flounder with, with the two pounds of uh, mixture that I've got made up today. I got my black iron skillet because in Biloxi and on the coast, people like press po' boys. You can buy a po' boy press, but they're hard to find and most of them are commercial grade, so I just use the old cast iron skillet with a bacon press. We're gonna take and we're gonna cut our po' boy bread down the middle. Fresh po' boy bread and you're gonna lay that face down and we're gonna put that press on it. And you want it, you want to put it on high heat to get your iron skillet hot. I mean you can use Teflon too, but I'm old school, I like the iron. And you you know, depending on how you like it, you just want it warm, you want it toasted. Just a matter of preference on how long you leave it in the skillet. I got some other stuff in here that I'm gonna get out because you can put whatever you want on top of it, lettuce, tomato, pickles. All right. All right, we just pulled our po' boy bread out. I like mine nice and toasty and warm. We're gonna put some mayonnaise on there. We're fixing to get to the best part of this and that's eating. A little bit on there, like that. This is one of my favorite po' boys right here. Love crab meat. Love crab meat. Now we're going to take and we're going to go to the filling. We're going to put that crab meat on there. Looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna take, I want some cheese on mine, so I'm gonna put me a little bit of cheese on top. A little dab of ketchup. Some 
fresh sliced tomatoes. Some pickles and just a little bit of shredded lettuce. We'll put the lid on that and we're going to smash it one more time just a little bit in the pan. That'll get your cheese melted and we're ready to go. It's fixing to be time to eat. Serve this with chips, french fries. We're going to have some fresh sweet potato fries with these. Take it out of the pan. Cut it in half. And there you go. It don't get no better than that right there, folks. Good cold, ice cold bark root beer with that, and you're ready to go.